it's me, Steph. So, I had a great weekend floating. I really enjoyed the whole... And yesterday was my first VLCD, so this morning was my first weigh-in, and I lost 4.6 of that today. So, my LIW is 169.2. I started at 168.6, and um, so this morning I was 172. So anyways, it feels really good because, um, you know, loading is so important, but yet it, it falls right back off. So I think your body just, somebody said, get shocked or something. And um, I think there is something to that, that you don't have to be so conservative with loading and worry about calories and worry about uh, sugar or anything. Because let me tell you, I ate a lot, a lot, a lot of food. And um, I never really felt miserable, miserable. I felt full, but miserable? No. I never felt miserable eating ice cream or eating Sonic burgers or eating french fries or eating, you know, jalapeno poppers. I did not feel miserable. But I will tell you what I did find. I found that I don't believe I like sugar. I would rather eat my chocolate delight than regular candy bars. And um, I felt like I wasn't missing anything. And I was loading... Of course I enjoyed loading. I enjoy loading. I enjoy food, duh. But I kept having this overwhelming feeling that I'm not missing out on anything. So that was really good. So it is amazing. Dr. Simeon's protocol is just so amazing because you get to go through all these stages and then you get to go back and, you know, start over again and you get to see how your body's changed, how your mind's changed, how physically you've changed. And so it is just amazing. I mean, pounds. I thought today I would put um, my loose work pants on and they'd probably be tight, but they weren't at all. They're loose like always. So um, it is pretty amazing how you know, it is pounds and inches, and even though you eat crazy for 2.3 days, doesn't mean your body is going to just, you know, hammer you for good, because I think your body is like, uh, bam, after you go back on the 500 calories, you know, so, uh, my problem going back on the 500 calories is, uh, I feel like... I can't remember what I'm supposed to eat. <laughs> so, I mean, I know what I'm supposed to eat, but vegetable-wise and stuff, I just feel like um, I need to get creative. Like, what can I cook, you know? And so, so far I've had spinach and spinach and spinach. <laughs> My husband has had spinach and spinach and nothing for vegetables. Just We just had lunch together. And so, yeah, very interesting. So yesterday I ate everything except my lunchtime fruit and then for dinner I ate everything and an apple but I kind of spread it out. I had my breadstick later and I had my apple right before bed. I felt a little bit of hunger pains so I had an apple then and um, so today for lunch I was hungry. My lunchtime is not until one o'clock so I was really hungry by the time I walked in the door and um, I had an orange, grassini, and um, tilapia, and spinach. So I feel really like pleasantly full right now, like a nice, you know, there's, there's a difference in full of donuts and full of sugar and then full of clean food. It's just such a different feeling. So I do feel full, which is really interesting to me because you know, we're really not eating that much. But when you do eat all four things, that is a lot of food. That is a lot of food. If you're eating it all, if you're eating your 100 grams of meat, if you're eating your um, two cups of vegetables, if you're eating your fruit and your breadstick or your melba, that's a lot of food. <laughs> so it is delightful. And oh, my coworkers, oh my gosh, a lot of them I think I'm only going to have maybe two there tomorrow. Others are gone or not available. So, um, 
but oh my goodness, their face, their faces, their bodies, they're starting to look different. <laughs> Myra, oh my goodness, she looks good. So anyways, and Myra's not going to be there tomorrow, but, but um, I will definitely um, vlog with whoever's there for lunch tomorrow. Okay, bye.